Hey team, it's Ripper here. Hope you guys are doing great. Got an awesome video of The Vampire 2, and this is a great game that I think demonstrates a lot of the capabilities of what you can do with The Vampire. Uh, give some little tactics, techniques, little procedures here and there, and as well as, uh, you know, different builds that you can try out. But this gives you kind of a good example if you're really debating about do you want to spend time getting the vampire, then I hope this video helps you out in any way, capacity, or form. So, uh, again, want to thank you guys for helping support the channel. Appreciate everything you guys do for us, the channel, growing it, having a, bl a blast shooting ships sailing ships as well as having a big community to talk about you know different things that are coming out and about and uh one thing i just saw a video that came out recently uh, again before i talk about that like subscribe button below as well, always uh, but again i want to say thank you we're very grateful here uh, i saw a video recently released by flamu that talks about that there's a bug again another bug in this game regarding fast gunboats now the vampire is a fast gunboat as you saw the build at the beginning of the video I built it for really as fast as I could get it, except for maybe uh, AFT or BFT, whatever it's called, because I didn't think a 5% buff really helped out these fast firing guns. I mean, they're already down to maybe about two seconds. Um, with the 10% uh, Fearless Brawler uh, per kicking in, you get it down to maybe 1.8. You'll see this video that that's as fast as we can get it. Uh, but the bug says that you have to get shot at first before any of these uh, to activate. So again, while you're watching the video, take that with a grain of salt and see what this really does. If there is a bug, if you see the reloads speed not as fast as you would think they would be. But uh, check that video for Flamo. Uh, he, he has a really good uh, testing and partake in it. So uh, I think that there may be an issue with it. But this is as fast as a gunboat you can really build for the Vampire for what it does. All right. We're what does the vampire do really well? Well, it can test caps. I mean, that's one of the skills I like about a destroyer is your role is to take over caps. Now, watch me take over caps at Bravo here, but you got to realize, remember, there's a lot of radar in the area. So the radar popped from one of the cruisers on the, I believe, at A or maybe B, but I can't see it. But then Seattle pops his radar, and I think the Seattle gets it out to about 9. Yep, so I get out from 9. Again, a technique tactic there is know your cruisers. If you know their radar uh, distances for most of your cruisers, you'll be in a safe position to establish dominance in an area. So I always say Soviet uh, cruisers have got about 12, American cruisers got about 10, but the, the, the tier nine cruisers, I believe, Seattle, uh, maybe Missouri is a battleship, but it's a tier nine battleship. The tier nines, I think majority of them get them out to nine kilometers. So if you know those numbers right there, nine, 10, and 12, it, it gives you a very good estimation of where to position your destroyer and know, hey, when do you need to bug out? How much standoff do you need to put between you and a cruiser as well as a cap? So again, I like to just not cap B right now. Again, you don't win games by capping first. You win games by how long you hold the caps and how many points are at the end of the game. So again, it's not the end of the world to remember that. So I just let the guy cap it then let's go back in and he's still in it so i use situational awareness you notice i'm not capturing this area and telling me that he is somewhere in bravo so i have hydro that goes out to five another great feature of the the vampire is a five kilometer hydro as well as crawling smoke combine that together and you got yourself a ninja assassin here as the title of the video says ninja assassin here we're going to take on the fletcher so i'm going to start shooting out he can't see me because I'm, I'm between him and the smoke and then oh wait i got popped so that tells me somebody else is on my left or right that's spotting me i can't see them right now so let's take you know i'm going to pop my crawling smoke to get out of harm's way the tactic here is either nose in but yep fletcher's firing at me so let me slow down let's get the smoke getting around me or hide behind an island so whatever i do seek cover and um, there it is shimakaze pops up on the east if you see the mini map there that's the guy that was spotting me but the cool thing is i have crawling smoke which covers wherever i go uh, i think there is a pro and con on that and we'll talk about the con later but right now it's a pro pro is that the fact that i get to be hidden while using hydro so anybody approaching me from five kilometers in will be spotted and i can get the jump on them but right now we're going to go ahead and cap priority number one we're going to cap then take on DDs, and then also spot for our team. But again, I can't spot for anybody while I'm in this crawling smoke until I leave it. Now, the tactic for this is the crawling smoke works at a quarter speed. Anything faster than quarter speed, you leave the smoke. So that's actually a good advantage. You have to learn how to use um, to use the throttle to your advantage. So uh, right now I'm outside of the smoke, so I can spot anybody like normal, like a normal uh, DD should. I got RPF showing me, RDF or RPF, showing me the direction of where that Fletcher is at. And so I know he's to my uh, north there. And I'm going to continue helping my team spot on the northwest and north area. So we got the Hanover here. 
Uh, so we're going to watch where, and you've got to keep an eye out for uh, the torpedoes from the Fletcher on the north there. So I got my hydro still up so we could spot the torpedo. Oh, he pops up again, but I'm going to start taking shots at the Holland right that just popped up in front of me. So I got to pick one or the other. Let's see if we can take out a DD here. Another priority for a DD is, hey, let's take out other DDs. So Vampire's an amazing hunter. Look at the reload guns on these things. We got it down to maybe 1.9. Ooh, we got a torpedo. And oof, we missed it just by a little bit. So now we're gonna see if we can take out this Holland. Taking out one of their DDs would be very crucial for us, especially a torp boat like the Holland. And look at it, we're just getting some maximum damage. It's pretty much like daring guns and also uh, a way better reload. So 1.8, you get them down. You get the Fearless Brawler, get it down to 1.6 maybe. And boom, RIP, back to 40. First kill of the day for us on the Holland. And now we're going to go and focus on the Fletcher. If he keeps showing, we're going to, oh, nope. Yep, he went off the spotting there because Shimakaze's in the smoke. And we are in the smoke as well. So nobody's really spotting or has line of sight with the Fletcher. So we're going to get out of here. I hope my Shimakaze stays alive. And, ooh, that was close. All right, so now uh, a couple other good things I like about the uh, Vampire. It's just a stealthy boat. 5.8 concealments. I mean, I'll outspot majority of boats out here. Uh, the other, only other boat I believe is the Yoi Yang that can get down to 5.8. Uh, I don't think the Fletcher can get that low, but we outspot almost everything on the map. And we have a great hydro, five kilometers, like I said. It's great for spotting DDs and then pop in your crawling smoke and get in your smoke and you have a five kilometer stealth uh, visibility or detection of other enemy targets. So now what we're gonna do is head towards the Fletcher going straight at him, see if we can take him on. And I have to keep in mind there is a Shimakaze as well. Okay, we're spotted there. And, oh, Shimakaze right there. Al had spotted us for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe the smoke. And we open fire on him. And I want to turn away. So the tactic right here is turn away. His guns are slow. Fletcher's guns. I only got the front gun. So I'm going to turn and show broadside because I need to turn away and kite away. Running at him doesn't mean no good. So I'm going to turn away. I'm not going to cool this, uh, heal this fire real quick. No damage gone. I'm going to save it. Because AR does kick in, the, the more health points we lose, and we're going to fire. Look at the rapid firing guns. Now, his guns stink. My guns are better, so I know I have the advantage. And boom, RIP back to 44. Number two, kill down. And let's see if we can remove this Fletcher as well at the same time. But he pops smoke, and he's outside of my hydro. We got an Elbing shooting us on the northwest side, so I'm going to have to stop firing and let us go down to, uh, go back to concealment. Ooh, ouch. That hurts. Uh this, now, this is the downside about the Vampire. We don't have any heals. So you have to conserve every ounce of your health as much as possible. Now, I think the Vampire does a good job of it in a sense because the majority of the time you're shooting from your crawling smoke or you're pretty much concealed. So you're using your torps. So I think that's a really good thing. We launched preemptive torps there in the general direction of the Fletcher. But that tells me that it is basically... The, the, the key component of you staying alive is a focusing on skill. Focusing on skill and using your smoke is what's got the vampire staying alive. But the majority of times I notice people that rush in and just go kind of carelessly with the vampire die really quickly. Because trust me, I've been in uh, Darings and I've been Ragnars and small ones that really wipe out vampires easily because they think they're safe in the crawling smoke. And it, it turns out they're not. So you got to really continuously reevaluate the mini-map and find, get your situational awareness in and find out where other targets are before you start one, either popping smoke, pushing in. But a lot of what you're seeing that I did in the vampire here that is really effective is what you're seeing right now is more of this crawling one quarter to half speed and re-evaluating the battlefield to figure out where are you best useful at. Um, I'm not useful at A right now. C is overwhelmed, we're good. Me, there's nobody at B other than me. So I'm just gonna sit here and contest it and hold. I mean, I think that's what the best thing the vampire can do right now is really just more of like a guard post. Like I'm just really here to just kind of sit back, manage the battlefield, make sure we keep the caps and as well as kill DDs that try to come in and take the caps. That is the most crucial part I think the vampire does really, really well. Columbo's reversing for some reason. I, I think he's just scared from getting shot at. So we'll just launch these that I love these torps, by the way. I mean, the Daring and the Vampire have these awesome single launch torps to do the conga line, which basically are the conga party that loves to go sink and eat battleships alive. I mean, if all five connect, boom, that Columbo's gone. Now, we just got to hope the Columbo doesn't move out of the way or spot them, but I think he's the, the Fletcher's spotting those torpedoes really well for us. And look at that. Man, those things, if they all connect, would it be a nice fireworks show for us? We're going to see if we start some fires. Now, the other good thing I like about the Vampire is not only do they have really rapid-firing guns, but they start fires really, really well. The Vampire starts fires like it's its, it's job because 
I mean, I only need to get a couple shells on board and boom, fire start just like that. I mean, that was probably one of the good, the best things and you'll see I'll get a kill out of it uh, by just starting fires. I mean, it's not about the DPM or me having more, you know, gun, uh, bullets or guns or shells on target. It really is the fact that, you know, you can start fires like crazy and those just eat away at battleships and cruisers. So right now, there's a fire right there. Look, I only hit him maybe a few times at five shells, and boom, he's already started fire. And I'm shooting like one point, what is it? what's the reload now? 1.5 seconds? Yeah, so, I mean, 1.5 seconds is ungodly. I mean, that is a great DPM. And I'm sorry, I bumped the mic there. Uh, but I think it's really, really awesome. The, the DPM, the capabilities that uh, the Vampire brings is really this high rate of fire in concealment and torpedoes as well while out spotting majority of dds and uh, just providing a great platform uh, to hold a spot and also to hunt dds down especially if you load rpf or rdf uh, you, someone's got to help me with that I don't, I don't know if it's called rpf or rdf anymore but radio detection uh, finder and allows you to figure out where the dds are hiding and what general direction is the closest threat Plumbo goes in and out. Now you notice that crawling smoke is also deadly because you, you're getting spotted but if someone has radar or hydro or something but you can't see anybody else because nobody's spotting for you. So that's another deadly thing. Now we're just going to keep firing on the Columbo. Why not? Let's see if we can start another fire because he damaged Con probably. And if we can get a fire, it'll be the end of him. Can we get a fire? Whoop! Here comes the Fletcher. Hey, we got a fire and we're going to get the Fletcher. So let's see. We're going to switch to AP right here because he's broadside. The, the AP on the, the British and Commonwealth is awesome. Watch this, boom, look at that. Some heavy, now bam, RIP down. Back to Porty, he goes. And we gotta watch also for Torps that the Fletcher launched, okay? So just keep that in mind. We're gonna sit here and wait and nose in for about five to 10 seconds. That's the technique right there. I got the Hydra up, which means I could have spotted them. So, so far I didn't see anything. No big deal, we'll turn away broadside now. That's the only time you're allowed to turn away is hey, once you give it five seconds or 10 seconds with no hydro, but we got hydro, five seconds should be okay. And we also get the kill for the Columbo. Fire does help and it's your best friend. So four kills, about 79,000 damage. Not bad for a vampire. Did I tell you this, this, this DD is really fun. Um, it is really fun. I, I think it's not as like, I would say forgiving and strong as a daring because it's got the heels. That's the only thing that separates it. If this thing had heels, it'd be overpowered. I think it'd be ridiculously overpowered if it had daring capabilities, uh, but it doesn't, and it's kind of balanced itself that way. High rate of fire guns, crawling smoke, and hydro. Uh, if it had heels, it'd be super overpowered, but it doesn't, so I think it does a well-balanced job for what it is, but it's really, really fun. So that's my thought on the vampires. Let me know what you guys think uh, in the comments below. Like, dislike, whatever it is. I love having the conversation. I uh, hope you uh, guys enjoyed the video, and until next time, like, subscribe, bell button below, and appreciate all those supporters getting us to 500 subscribers. That's our next goal. So, hey, you guys have a great one. Be safe, and we'll talk to you soon. Cheers.